What's up, y'all? So more apps. Meet me down at the cinema. Wherever it's at. My man Rallo got two for fives over there. We get free tickets, free popcorn. I'ma tell you more about the Mod Squad. Check it out. I think the show was important for what it spoke for rather than the show itself. Like at the time, late 60s, a real political time for just people in general. And like, you know, a black guy and a white girl and a white guy kicking ass was like real cool, you know? So we kind of took that premise and with a 90s style to it. I was born in 73, so, you know, bell bottoms were like going out when I was coming up. So we, we were like the baggy generation and now they slapped me in some, I mean, really, really tight pants. Like it looks like I'm walking on my arms because I'm really skinny. <laughs> but that was cool, no complaints. That was really cool. The colors were funky, you know, a lot of brown and the oranges from like the, the 70s. And you know, I think all of our clothes were pretty, pretty funky. Kind of Lenny Kravitz was my style. Pants were so tight, I couldn't even wear underwear. I couldn't. One, because you could see the lining, but two, it just wasn't comfortable. First album I remember having was The Wiz with Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. Like, that soundtrack album was like it for me. Every song on it. That's like the first album I remember. <laughs> I wanted to be Michael Jackson, yeah. Everybody wanted to be Michael Jackson at one time or another. I don't care who you are. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> there are very few people who have a voice that's a signature voice that can take you to an emotion immediately, you know, make you cry. Or there are very few songs, you know, those are the special songs that people hear and it, it defines a whole genre a whole time and it's like wow it puts you immediately back in that place or in in your dreams you know what I mean certain songs kind of emote what you see for yourself in your dreams and Stevie Wonder does that for me first concert I ever went to I performed in because I used to dance with Queen Latifah I was 18 on tour with Ziggy Marley and Queen Latifah, so you can imagine how much fun I was having. <laughs> most musicians act and most actors do music. It's just what you get in the door for, you know? And timing is everything. That's what I've learned personally with my stuff. It's like timing is everything. People, maybe people don't, don't want to accept you as a musician if, if I'm known for this until the right time. The walls of color are still there because they exist within society, but creatively they're coming down. You know, there's, there's people like, there's Paul Hunters who did the Marilyn Manson video, you know, the, the dope show. So that's cool when you can have like this young black guy with dreads who does hip hop videos do like a Marilyn Manson video. That means people are finally getting the point, you know, and finally in our, you know, young black films or just young films, you know, the alternative films are just mixing it up and telling all different types of stories rather than this guy who's like this black kid from the ghetto who wants to do better and he got to figure out how to do it. You know, it, that's, it's just like, okay, we told that story, let's move on to the, the love. <laughs> Me and my mother went on the chat room one time. That was funny. These guys were talking about like making new drugs and stuff. She was like, oh my God, Jesus have calling all types of lords and Jehovah and everybody. It was funny.